astronomers had been tracking the meteorite for several hours before it crashed somewhere in the forests of Lego City. Based on the rock's orbital path, astronomers have concluded that the meteor came from the planet Mars. Wow! A Martian meteorite! Isn't that amazing, Jake? No. But Jake, it's an object from outer space! And it's so near to where we live, we could almost go find it ourselves! Oh, please. Why would anyone want a smoldering space turd? The mere 10 kilograms of Martian rock is estimated to be worth 100 million U.S. dollars. 100 million U.S. dollars! That's right, Jake. How did he know my name? And according to Article 21, Section B of the Constitution, Finders Keepers. Joe, call Stephen Frank and tell him to meet us outside the forest. We're going to find that meteorite. So, why did Jake suddenly decide he wanted to go hiking in the forest again? Something to do with that meteorite or something. <laughs> I get this stiffy does. All right, guys, are we ready to spend hours fruitlessly searching the forest for a meteorite? Well, maybe we would be if these guys here weren't stopping us from going into the forest. What? Hey, why are you stopping us? We are the protectors of the forest. Over 1,000 years ago, Saint Bob of Pullis predicted that in these woods, a star would fall. A star made of pure poultry. Ever since that time, the Order of the Chicken Heads has guarded these lands, waiting for the poultry meteorite. And now it has landed! And you're not getting it! Maybe they're not getting it, but I am. Michael Caine? That's right, and you can keep your eyes off that meteorite, because soon it's going to be on my bloody mantelpiece. Surely you expected a third party, mate. Make that a fourth party, Michael. Morgan Freeman! That's right, it's me, Morgan Freeman. I, too, am quite interested in that meteorite of yours. Well, you can go back and march at your penguin friends, mate. I'm Michael Caine. Do I look like I give a crap? Well, I mean, not exactly. That's probably because I don't. But anyway, I best be making a start on that meteor. Finders keepers, boys. Hey, they're going to be in the lead. <laughs> Guys, look. Those losers won't beat us if we have some wheels. Okay, that's enough. Thanks for doing this, Johnny. I'm, I'm very grateful. Uh, don't tell anyone about this. Oh, don't worry. We won't tell anyone. If you give us your van. What? That's our van. It's expensive. Uh, sir, he may have us here. If word gets out that the show is fake, we'll lose the two million dollars we're getting from the Discovery Channel. The van is only worth ten thousand, so it's actually more financially viable to just give him the van. Oh my god! Uh, here, take our stinking van! Why did they say they wanted the van again? They said they were looking for a meteorite. Wait, how much was the meteor worth? A hundred million dollars. Are you kidding me? We missed the chance to get a hundred million dollars to save to- Oh. Radioactivity is increasing. <gasps> there it is! <laughs> oh, great. We have found the poultry star! Quickly, engage worshipping ritual. Well, well. One down, two to go. Wait a minute. Maybe we should share the meteorite. 
What are you on about, Freeman? When I was in the forest, looking for the meteor, all on my own with the, the mighty swaying trees and the big old wonderful blue sky, there were two squirrels fighting over a nut, each so highly focused on defeating their opponent. And that's when the nut slipped off the tree and the two little squirrels followed right on after it. They died because they couldn't share. But that's what makes us human. We can empathize with each other. We can cooperate to achieve great things. Let's end this selfishness. Let's, let's share the meteorite. Uh, sorry? What were you saying? Oi! Go, 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 go! What the... Who are you? It's me. It's Clint Eastwood. I was in the van the whole time. What? But... 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 How is that possible? All right, look, everyone. The meteorite's gone, so why don't we just put aside our differences and help each other get out of the forest? Jake? Uh, well, if you can't beat him, kill him. W wait, what? Oh my oh god, Jake! 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 Jake!